is a big thing at Plenty High, so you'd be excused for thinking it was Susie's day. Last chance! Order your Valentine's cakes for delivery tomorrow. Will you send pink for love? Or white for friendship? Hurry up, people! It's for charity! So, are you guys buying any cakes? Well... Not me, Nina. Valentine's Day is a joke. If you like someone, tell them in person. Cakes are for birthdays. Uh-oh. Annie, you bought a cake for Vincent? That's not like you. I borrowed my cousin's copy of Polylop magazine, Valentine's Day special issue. I followed their advice. Make the first move. Ouch. You could always cancel the cake. And let Susie know? No thanks. I think I'll come down with a strange tropical disease tomorrow. Skip the whole thing. Let it blow over. You can't. You promised you'd come to my dad's Valentine's Day breakfast. Go! We'll have pesto and tomato, then perhaps an affogato and an omelette for a breakfast in the morning. And now, a touching Valentine's Day performance from the heart. Oh, Zef, your touching performance has touched the food. We can't eat that now. Maybe we should leave these lovebirds and birds to themselves? Happy Valentine's Day! Thanks, Pixel Pinky. Although no need for candles. That's birthdays, not Valentine's Day. It's edible, right? I'm starving. So many things to learn, so little time. Here, Valentine's Day Crash Course, Polylop Magazine. I'm not sure that I get this Valentine's Day stuff either, so unless someone's going to magic me a bowl of cereal, I'm heading. If we hurry, we can still make it to the core before school. Pixel Pinky, we've got to do something about Annie. I want her to have a great Valentine's Day. I know just the thing. Where did... Happy Valentine's Day, Annie. I'm Rip, or you could call me Boy Wonder. Rip will do. Is he the guy from the magazine? You could say he's hot off the press. I should be saying this is crazy, but my need for breakfast far outweighs logic right now. This is cool. Rip must be very strong. Or really stupid. I bet nine out of ten chiropractors would say that's the wrong way to carry a bag. Still, it sure beats the bus. And hearing all about Susie's Valentine's Day score. Fifty boxes of chocolates arrived on my door. Max has really excelled himself this time. But the chocolates were from me. Oh, I gave you the flowers. I've been decorating the bus since 4 a.m. <laughs> Hold on! You don't have to do things on your own. Oh, the tire was fine. It's the chain that's the... Whoa! It's all in the wrist. Hey! Polly Lock magazine says the perfect Valentine is always ready to help. your position. This is Annie's day. Being a model, I practice my walk. You should practice too. Who is that? No one told me there was a new guy. Is he really a model? 
Wow, four colour print job, double sided, very nice. Yeah, nice, but it goes in the paper recycling bin. Is this where old unwanted paper goes? Magazines, newspapers, everything. Sorry, little buddy. <laughs> What's it with the paper freaky deaky? Let's not hold it against him. He's perfect in every other way. Are you falling for him? No. I'm faint with hunger. Makes me say crazy things. A song is like a poem, but even more romantic. If your guitar is tuned right. Roses are red, the violets are purple, but you, my sweet Annie, have a face like a strawberry cheesecake. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> that doesn't even rhyme. Annie's having a great time thanks to you, Pixel Pinky. Wait, Annie, let me. I wouldn't let him do that. What do you mean? Nina, where did you find Rip? Pixel Pinky made Rip from the magazine. Yeah, well, that explains the recycling bin back there. We have to get him out of here before anyone sees. <gasps> Must run. Time waits for no one. Rip, I like how you do all this work without complaint. But Susie, I don't complain. That's Nicky. What? You're the little Miss Complainy Pants. Uh-oh. Our paper boy is standing next to an oven. And he's with Susie. You know, I can't think how this could get any worse. It just did. Hey! Did you order a cake? Yep, 432 of them. This is a disaster! We can't let anyone find out that Rip is actually made of paper. How long can a guy made out of cardboard last in the rain? Polylop magazine says the best valentine will be there for you, always. Oh, great. You mean we're stuck with him? That's it. All we have to do is get him back inside the magazine. Yeah, but I'm sure he doesn't want to go back, so we'll have to be clever and fast. Look! deliver themselves. Get moving! Now's our chance. Rip, slow down. We need to talk. Not now. I promised Susie to deliver cakes and a promise is a promise. Carl Ricochet. How do you know my name? Happy Valentine's Day from Betty Wong. Yeah! missed him. He'll head back to Susie. We have to divert him somehow. The perfect valentine will always go to whoever needs help. I've got an idea. Here he comes. Go! Max sure needs help with his slam dunk. I'll say, if he doesn't get help, Plenty High will never win the basketball championship. It's a calamity in need of some help from someone helpful right away. Leave it to me. Where is my number one helper, Rip? He should be back by now. I can help you, Susie. No, let me. I can help more. <laughs> Max, I'm so glad I found you. I'm here to help you. Watch and learn. Huh? Maybe you should stick to the cakes, baker boy. Oh no! Look at Rip! Quick, we have to do something. Hey, Annie, over here. The cake! Oh, I forgot all about Vincent. Annie, I know I bagged them out before, but, well, it's pretty cool you thought of me. I got something for you too. You got me a guitar? No, a song. Wow, no one's ever written a song for me before. 
Except for the cheesecake song. Yeah, well, I think that one didn't count. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, I feel so empty inside. Not this time, Rip. Vincent doesn't need your help. And neither does Annie. She's got Valentine's Day sorted. Don't need a cake to tell me I like ya. Don't need a day to know we click. It's the way of the world. I'm a boy, you're a girl. And nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing can rip us apart. My heart, it's broken in two. Rip. Your Polylop magazine's idea of a valentine. You'll be happier back where you belong, here inside the magazine. Fine, just don't put me on the back page. No one ever looks at the back page. And this magazine belongs right here. Thanks, Pixel Pinky, for helping give Annie a great Valentine's Day. I do my best. Now, let's boogie! You make me feel mighty, mighty real. Yeah, no! This is the perfect Valentine's Day, hanging out with friends. I know you're not really into cakes, but I wanted you to enjoy Valentine's Day. Thanks, Nina. I got you one too. <laughs> <laughs>